What I'm going to show you here is how you can quickly check to see if your email server is up and running. Now if you own a domain name, chances are you're probably using a hosting provider to, domain, to host your domain name with and that hosting provider is probably also hosting your email. So sometimes you may notice you're not able to send mail or you're not able to receive mail. So the method I'm going to show you here allows you to quickly check to see if your email server is at least up. Now before I get started here I'm going to talk about the two different aspects of an email server, the sending part and the receiving part. So when you send mail you connect to the outgoing mail server or the SMTP server to send your mail and the default port you connect to is port 25. Now what's happened is a lot of spammers have started using port 25 since it's the default port to send spam. So internet service providers such as Comcast and Verizon have started to block port 25. So more than likely your hosting provider is using a different port for your out outgoing mail server and you just have to find out what port number that is and put it in your email client program such as Outlook, Thunderbird or MacMail and things will work properly. So again you use the outgoing mail server and the associated port to send your mail. Now to get your mail you use the incoming mail server. And the incoming mail server is associated with two different protocols, the POP protocol and the IMAP protocol. If you're using the POP protocol, you connect to the server by default it downloads all your mail to your computer. And with IMAP the default is you connect to the server and you read your mail off the server so it doesn't download anything to your computer. Now if you're using the POP protocol the default port associated with that is port 110 and the default port for IMAP is port 143. Okay so let's get started here. So I'm going to use a simple program called Telnet to run this test and I'm using Windows XP where Telnet is installed by default. Now if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7 I believe Telnet is not installed by default but you can install it by going to control panel. And you can figure out how to do that simply by doing a search on Google. On Linux you can use the Telnet utility and on Mac OS you can do the equivalent. So I'm going to go to start here, click run, and then type in CMD to pull up the command line utility. And once that comes up I can type in Telnet, my domain name, and you would type in yours. And let's say I'm using um, the, the incoming mail protocol pop to check my mail. So then I would type in 110 for the default port. Okay, so I was able to connect. So I know that the pop email server is up. So I'll get out of here. Let's say instead of pop, I was using IMAP. And as I mentioned before, IMAP has the default port of 143. So instead of 110, I would have come here and put in 143. Now let's say that I wasn't able to connect successfully. So I would have gotten some problem or some issue like this and I took out the .com here intentionally. I would have gotten some error message like this if there was a problem connecting. All right. Okay, let's say we're not having a problem receiving mail at all and we're only having a problem sending. In that case, we want to check the outgoing mail server or the SMTP mail server. And as I mentioned before, the default port on that is 25, but your ISP is probably blocking 25, so you want to find out what your hosting provider is using is the port for the outgoing mail server. And we'll say it's 587 here. We'll just put that there and then if we hit enter and we're able to connect we know the outgoing mail server is at least up. So that's it. That's how you can use Telnet to at least check to see if your email server is up and running and if it's not you can contact your hosting provider.